I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> so I got a question this, man. I got to ask some questions right quick and make sure you, you know, fire them comments up, fire them comments up. Feedback is much appreciated. Where my fans at? Where my big dogs at? Subscribers, supporters, Minnesota Vikings fans. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get it. But why in the hell is Alexander Madison still the starting running back on this squad? Why in the hell <laughs> is Dalton Reisner not in the lineup? I must know. I got to know. Let's talk about Maddie first. Now, respect Maddie, man. No disrespect. We know what he went through with the fans, the hate mail, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, I'm on his head top. Might make his head drop, baby. Alexander Madison is not a starting running back in the NFL, at least not on the Vikings. Why is Cam Akers not yet the starter? I repeat, why is Cam Akers not yet the starter? KOC, what are you doing? Are the Vikings, the Vikings organization, so caught up in favoritism, vets, time, accumulated, <laughs> huh? loyalty, false loyalty, incorrect loyalty? The fact that Alexander Madison is still the starter is erroneous, baby. You hear me? You get my drift? You dig me? It's erroneous, baby. It's clear cut. Cam Akers should be the starting running back. He's a different type runner, a stronger runner, period. More elusive, more shifty, shiftiness. He can create his own holes, period. And you talk about out the backfield, out the backfield, he's a much better receiver than Alexander Madison will ever be. That's just facts. See, that's the problem. Viking staff, organization, head coach, GM, fans, etc., media, content creators, they don't want to accept facts or they can't see, realize they're clear facts because they ride nuts so much. Yeah, they ride big nuts. Alexander Madison ain't no starter, baby. I don't give a damn what you say. Cam Akers, and yes, I'm going back to it. I'm going to keep going back to it, baby. Clear touchdown. <laughs> Alexander Madison catches that. Kirk Cousins delivers a perfect throw. He drops a screen pass. The ball hits his hands. A high school football player would have caught that, baby. He catches that. He walks into the end zone. Walsh's glides into the end zone. Easy seven. Easy six, baby. Tied game. They could have even went for two and potentially took the lead. Alexander Madison. So when I say Vikings don't have players that want to be great, I mean that. They only have a few players that really want to be great, baby. That is piss poor, atrocious. How do you drop that ball? I don't care what excuse you can, you can make. Matter of fact, it's no excuse to make, baby. You got to catch that football, dog. Period. Bottom line. You got to catch that football. That's a game changing play. Tying the game. Come back. Help your team out. Help your team out, Alexander Madison. I don't care what type of pillar he is in the community. I don't care what he does outside the field. Respect. Do your thing. Respect to you, okay? But on that field, he's been below average, bro. You cannot drop that pass. You are an NFL player, elite of the elite, best of the best. And I guarantee you, Cam Akers catches the ball and takes that bitch to the house. We can debate about it all day. Let me know how you feel. But the fact that KOC continues to put Madison in the game as a starter, it shows, man. No one's getting held accountable for real. And I guarantee next week versus the Bears, Madison will be the starter. Guess what? If people, like KOC says, huh, like he loves to preach, cap. If he was holding players accountable, Maddie wouldn't be the starter. This dude has fumbled in every game damn near. He dropped a big pass, a game-tying touchdown, dropped it wide open. This is your starting running back. That's on KOC, man. Like I said in the previous video, majority of blame goes on Kevin O'Connell, no escaping. But Alexander Madison, he is no starting running back. Excuse me. He is no starting running back, bro. He is a second string, come in, relieve a player when they're tired. He can give you good yards here and there, give you some good runs. They brought Cam Akers in for a reason, right? They brought Cam Akers in for a reason, correct? 
Cam Akers is a way more versatile running back than Alexander Madison could ever be, baby. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Cam Akers is clearly, clearly should be the starter. Let him get in his groove. Let him find his rhythm. Give him some touches, man. Enough of Alexander Madison. Tired of seeing him. Tired of talking about him. Respect to him and what he does. But at the end of the day, he is not the guy. He is not it, bruh. Like it's evident. How long does it take for coaches to see this shit? Or is it just the Vikings way? The kind, friendly, loyalty, favoritism way that continues to hold his team back. Enough is enough. He proved it today or yesterday, baby. <laughs> he drops a wide open touchdown pass. Could change the whole game. Tie the game. Late in the fourth quarter. And once again, they stick with him. They roll with him. Come on, bro. This is trash. This is inexcusable, man. Period. Period, bottom line. <laughs> what does Alex Alexander Madison bring? I saw a couple runs, man. If he had better vision, he would have cut it back. Could have got a lot of yards. A lot of yards. He's a one-way, straightforward runner, baby. That's who Alexander Madison is. Power runner. No agility. No burst for real. No shiftiness. Vision is very below average. So many runs. If he cuts it back, cuts it left, cuts it right, sees the hole, he can get five more, ten more yards every time, baby. That's what Cam Akers brings. That's what Alexander Madison doesn't bring to the table. It's not hard to see, realize. Come on, man. Next up, Dalton Reisner. What's up with Dalton Reisner, bro? Is he it? Can he play or not? I'm so tired of seeing Ed Ingram on that field. They talking about the Vikings O-line is ranked sixth or something in pass, pass blocking, pass pro. I'm not buying it, bro. I'm not listening to them stats no more, period. Because from the eye test, observations, they got beat badly, man, again. Ed Ingram is trash. The interior is still trash. Are they performing better? Yeah, but so what? And with Kirk Cousins, your quarterback, I'm going to get on Kirk later heavy. He escapes no blame. <laughs> I don't care about the stats once again. Now, did Kirk play horrible? Was he the reason the Vikings lost? No, but he's never the reason they win, baby. Never the reason they win. Take that on the chin. Let it sink in. Big skull here, man. But I'm so tired of seeing Ezra, Eagle, Ezra Cleveland, Ed Ingram. <laughs> did you see how... Oh, my gosh. Did you see how Ezra Cleveland got washed by, by uh, Chris Jones? Got washed by Chris Jones, baby. Wasn't even close. Ed Ingram, always somebody in the backfield against him. The pressure, the pressure. Kirk getting hit in the mouth. Kirk getting hit in the mouth. In order for the Vikings to have a chance, you got to keep Kirk upright, baby. But at the end of the day, they paying Dalton Reisner $4 million. What the hell for? Is he not going to play? Is he out of shape? Can he not learn to play, Brooke? What the problem is? You can't tell me Ed Ingram is better. You can't tell me Ed Ingram brings more to the table, baby. No, you can't tell me Ed Ingram is just better than, oh, man, Dalton Rising. I'm not hearing that no more. I would be very shocked and surprised. So what's something else behind it? Is it an injury? Is it something the Vikings being secret about? Well, they need to let it be known, baby, because this O-line is still piss poor, atrocious. Give a damn about a stat or number. Where is Dalton Reisner? What did you bring him in the building for? You brought him in to play, right? <laughs> be efficient. For better, a better blocker, run blocking, pass blocking, etc. So why isn't he in the building? Why isn't he playing? Bottom line, bro. Why is he not on the field? I must know. I got to know. Vikings fans, don't you want to know? My big dogs, don't you want to know what's up with Reisner? All this hype behind him. They going to sign him. They not going to sign him. Finally, they bring him in a building. They see the offensive line needs improvements, needs help. What the hell is going on? Where is Dalton Reisner? Why has he not played one snap of football yet for the Vikings? It's time for KOC, the O-line coach, somebody to speak the hell up. Because this is ridiculous, bro. This is piss poor. Your O-line, your O-line, your O-line. Still hurting you. Still can't keep Kirk upright. Elite D-linemen, they get trashed, tossed up, washed up, bench pressed. 
And they continue to put these guys on the field. For what, man? So something going on, and it's time to let it be known. Let the cat out the hat, baby. Period. Where is Dalton Reisner? When will he play? His strong point is pass pro, right? Okay, it's pass pro. Well, guess what? Put him on the field because the Vikings are piss poor at pass protection. Forget a ranking. I'm talking about the eye test. I don't even know where they get their numbers from at the end of the day. So I'm done. I'm off that. I'm done believing the hype, believing the rankings. Period. Bottom line, baby. So that's the big question. Feedback is much appreciated. Let me know how you feel about it. What is up with Dalton Reisner, man? Big score here. Score Vikes forever.